I don't think Joffrey was obsessed with Sansa, or that he preferred her to Marjorie. When Marjorie is presented as a bride his objection that he is already betrothed was a show for the room of people. He wanted everyone to think, Joffrey is so honorable and lawful, even to Sansa Stark, that traitor. Joffrey sees Sansa as tainted with a traitor's blood, so he assumes everyone else does too. Joffrey is actually confident that no one would object to his putting aside Sansa, he just wanted to make someone say it. Hey guys, welcome to my channel, please don't forget to like and subscribe and also click on the notification bell to remain updated. Joffrey sees Sansa as an enemy, his worst enemy, because Sansa has seen him for the complete ignoble coward that he is. He hates her ever since that moment, and it kills him that Sansa knows he's a fool and a coward. Marjorie is older and naturally better at reading people. She keeps her disgust at Joffrey hidden, she flatters him and doesn't show any disapproval of anything he does. Marjorie interests Joffrey. Marjorie is of course, beautiful and coquettish, she even knows that Joffrey will like the idea of seeing her with the crossbow, she plays him like a fiddle, but he has no clue. As much as someone like Joffrey can like someone the person makes them feel good and is interesting, Joffrey likes Marjorie. So to Joffrey, Marjorie is first of all his and to Joffrey's understanding a friend. Joffrey wants Sansa back, so that he can punish her more for his own humiliation, that he blames on her. Humiliation is anathema to narcissists like Joffrey. He could never punish her enough. Remember his fury at Tywin, putting him to bed, shouting I am the king, he can't take humiliation. He wants to decimate Sansa Stark, she's a symbol of his shame. Marjorie is just a shiny, new thing he likes for now. Thanks for watching, please don't forget to like this video and drop comments. And most importantly don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything.